Hello everybody and welcome to Lesson 5, Part 2. Um, lesson 5 was pretty large, so I had to break it up into a few um, different lessons. I think actually I'm going to end up breaking it into three parts. So this is Part 2 here, just because there's a lot of work to go through. Um, so let's get started. Number sense and problem solving. A beverage container, okay, so this is kind of a combination of um, things that we've already learned in lesson one, two, and four. The reason I skipped three is because three is simply teaching you how to use a calculator, and there's not really any actual lessons there as far as um, doing math work. So here we go. A beverage container holds 12 servings. If the serving size is 12 ounces, how many ounces does the container hold in all? So, you know, story problem. Figure out how we need to solve this. So, a beverage container holds 12 servings, okay? If the serving size is 8 ounces, so one of these 12 servings equals 8 ounces. How many ounces does the container hold in all? So, what we need to do there is multiply. Okay, actually, um, right here, directions, you may use your calculator. There will be certain areas in the GD test that you can use your calculator, and this is one of them. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and proceed like they expect us to here. Okay, so we go 8 times 12 equals 96. Okay, so we know that this is a multiplication problem. The answer is 96. Cells at three concession stands are 839, 527, and 726. What is the total amount in cells? So, obviously, these are separate cells here and we need to multiply them all together to get the total amount of sales. Okay, so again, they allow us to use our calculator here, so 839 plus, um, where am I, 527 plus 726 equals 2092. I'm actually going to try and pull up a calculator here because I'm I am pretty much doing these on a calculator but you guys can't actually see it on the screen so let's see if I even have a calculator oh, here we go Okay, so again, 839 plus 527 plus 726 equals 2092. So that's your answer. If you want to cut two, uh, if you want to cut 24 two-foot braces, how many boards? of the length shown below would you need so let's see if you want to cut 24 two foot braces so if we know if we have we know if we have um, two 24 foot braces that equals 48 feet okay 24 times 2 okay so how many boards of the length shown below would you need? Okay, so t in total we want to have 48 feet. How many of these 12 foot boards would we need to make 48, uh, to make 48 feet? Let's see. So which would actually be two foot segments equaling 48. Um, so 48 divided by 12, which is the size of this board here, equals 4. So we'd need 4 of these 12-foot boards to make 
24 two feet segments okay using your calculator find the value of the square root of 441 I don't actually have that function here on this calculator unfortunately but on my iPhone it shows it like this let's see actually let me look at it real quick so I give you the right description okay so on my iPhone there's a check mark like that okay and it shows a 2 right here and an X right here so you would go ahead and hit that okay and then type in 441 equals hit the equal signs or enter sign depending on what you have and it shows um, 21 so the answer here would be 21 so basically the square root is a number times itself it should equal for example 21 um, times 21 should equal 441 uh, sorry let's see 21 yeah so any number times itself is basically how you find the square root what number times itself equals 441 and that's 21 so Angelo bought a used car with 3,900 sorry 39,451 miles on it if the car now has 70,040 miles on it how many miles does Angelo um, has Angelo driven the car so what you have to do is find the difference between these two numbers and remember to find the difference you divide so where's that calculator Hold on. okay so did I say divide I meant subtract seven zero zero four zero seventy thousand forty minus thirty nine thousand four hundred and fifty one equals thirty thousand five hundred and eighty nine okay so there you go that's the current mileage on it use your calculator to solve this problem if Emory paid twenty percent of three thousand two hundred and eighty as a down payment how much was the down payment okay so this is how we do this three thousand two hundred and eighty um let's see times twenty percent equals six hundred and fifty six okay so six hundred fifty six is your answer Inventory shows that a warehouse has 45 printers in stock. If each printer is valued at 125, what is the total value of the printer inventory? So we have 45 printers. They each one is 125, so that one's pretty easy. We multiply 45 by 125. And that equals 5,625. So that's the value of our inventory. A. Lydia can drive 180 miles in three hours on Tuesday. Sorry, in three hours. On Tuesday, she drove for seven hours at that rate. How many miles did she drive on Tuesday? So what you would have to do here, okay, if this was six it would be easier because then you could just you know six is double three so you could just double the 180 as well get your answer but since it's not that way there's another way to do it as well but 
easiest way is to find how far she went per hour. So three, okay, 100, sorry, 180 divided by three equals 60. Okay, so we divide this number by this number. Now we have each, uh, each distance that she went per hour, we know is 60 miles an hour. Uh, 60 miles, sorry. So then on Tuesday she drove for 7 hours at that rate. So she drove for 7 hours going 60 miles an hour. We multiply that 60 times 7 equals 420. Okay, so your answer is B. Done with that page. Let's see. Okay, Janelle wants to drive from Danville to Brownville. If she averages 60 miles per hour, how many hours will it take her to drive the distance? So distance here, Danville to Brownville, we see is 480 miles. She drives an average of 60 miles per hour. Okay, so how many 60s go into 480? Let's see, let's divide that. 480 divided by 60 equals 8. So it took her 8 hours to drive 480 miles. So your answer is B. Number 10, a company sold a total of 1,440 in gift bears for Valentine's Day. If the gift bear, if the gift bears cost uh, $15 a piece, how many gift bears did it sell? So let's see, remember the formula for this, we're just going to go over that formula again. So this is the cost formula. So company sold a total of $14.80, that's the total cost, okay? So we have the total cost, which is C, over if the gift bears cost $15 a piece. So we have the price per unit, which is R. Okay, I know that's a crappy R. Um, so now we have the missing variable, which is N, which represents the number of units. Okay, so like I said before, the cost in the previous lesson, the cost, anytime you have the cost in either one of these variables, you will always divide. If you have these two, the cost per unit or price per unit, and the number of units, then you multiply those to get the cost, okay? But since we have these two, we'll divide. So 1440 um, fourteen forty divided by 15 equals 96. So he can get 96 bears, okay? So your answer is B. In addition to interest charges, Richard's credit card company charges a $25 late fee for payments made after the payment due date. So $25. If he was charged a late fee for eight months, eight monthly bills, how much could he have saved by paying the bills? Well, let's see. $25 per late fee times the amount of uh, late charges he got, which was eight equals 200 so your answer is a a waiter has seven five dollar bills and 18 one dollar bills from tips in all how much does he have in tips again seven five dollar bills multiply seven times five equals 35 and 18 one dollar bills so we know that 18 one dollar bills is 18 dollars okay so in all in all this right here indicates that this needs to be added together okay how much does he have in tips 35 plus 18 equals 53 so he has 53 dollars which is D April has, number 13, April has taken her car in for recommended oil and filter change every 3,500 miles. 
If April bought her car brand new and the odometer now shows just over 17,500 miles, how many oil changes has her um, car received? So there's 17,500 miles. Uh, uh, actually, I think that was correct. 17,500 miles. Each mile, each uh, oil change is uh, changed at 3,500 miles. So we'll divide the two. 17,500 divided by 3,500. So April has received five oil changes. Okay, five right there. A clinic treated 536 children over a four month period. At this rate, how many children did the clinic treat a month? So, 4, 536 total. And there are four months that made this number. So, we want to divide them into even four even amounts. So, 536 divided by four equals 134. So, uh, the clinic treated approximately 134 kids a month. Attendance at a local play, this is number 15, attendance at a local play was 438 Friday night, 820 Saturday night, and Sunday night at 636 Sunday afternoon. How many more people attended the play on Sunday than Friday? So Sunday was 636. Okay, minus the amount on Friday. So we're trying to find the difference. So difference between this number and this number. So we subtract 636. I'm not sure if I hit the minus button already. Minus 438 equals 198. Okay, so that's your answer. 198. Okay, Raquel has four payments left on her car. If each payment is 268, how much does she still owe on her car? Easy enough. 268 times 4 equals 1,072. So that is your answer there, 1,072. Um, you know... Story problems do take a little bit of experience to actually start to understand which um, formula you use or which, uh, like if you use subtraction, multiplication, or division, etc., etc. Um, so the more you do this, and just by you know seeing how I do it in my commentary, hopefully you'll get a little more knowledge and it'll get ingrained in you a little bit more. Um, if you do, did appreciate this help, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button as well as if you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and ask and I'll try and get back to you ASAP. Thank you very much.